Alexander Rice here with a update video. Um, as you can see with the title, today is a video. I have finished my novel on the free write. And so I'm gonna go over some things that um, kind of surprised me with this device. My word count ending was about 96,000 words. So I have put a considerable amount of time into using the device. So this will just be a overall thought. I have finished an entire novel on the free write. So this is what that video is going to be about. And also I wanted to touch base. Um, so for the Lockbee tool roll giveaway, I had announced a winner in the comments of my last video. It seems that that person hasn't figured out yet. So Anna Cummings 5841, please send me an email and I will get this shipped to you. Um, I did a giveaway random um, out of, I think, 12 people entered in, and she was the one that landed on. So again, Anna, it's at Anna Cummings 5841. Send me an email. The information will be in the description, and I'll have a little text here that will give it to you as well. Um, shoot those details over, and I will get this shipped to you. Anyways, let's get on to today's material. So as you can tell, I have done it. I have finished a complete book on the free write device, and today I'm going to go over what my thoughts were using the device, what I learned about myself, and just the writing process in general. So as you can see, it's all printed out right here, all 90,000 words. So I'm going to talk about what I learned, what I wish was different, and what I want to go or do going forward. So first of all, I will say, um, previous videos, I've talked about the um, technicalities with this device, and I have learned from those mistakes, and that involves um, manually backing this thing up on a regular basis, whether that be after my writing session ends, or during the writing session, just um, in case I want to, if I have good words, and I know they're going to stick, then I will back it up immediately. And that can be done by connecting it to Wi Fi, and um, simply pushing the send button. Anyway, so what I have learned. So one thing that's interesting about the free write, obviously it's not a conventional laptop. So autocorrect is not there. So I learned how much spelling um, I relied on autocorrect to know how to spell words. So I think uh, one thing I learned was how to spell words again, which is kind of funny. Um, you would think that as we get older, we would just become um, better spellers, but it seems like autocorrect has really taught us to, as long as we get kind of what we're trying to spell, it will fix it. I learned that with this device, obviously, you need to know how to spell. So I will be going through my draft and I will see probably countless spelling errors, grammatical errors, because this does not have autocorrect. But I think that's a good thing because I do write on um, longhand. I do write, um, again, with this device and I have learned the importance of grammar, spelling, and also um, just prose. So one of the things I took away from this is needing to learn how to spell again. So um, that was interesting. Another thing that I thought was very interesting with this device, having spent, um, 96,000 words going through a book is the importance to detail. I feel like with the, t with a typical web browser, being able to go back and edit really slowed me down. And with this, I would catch grammatical errors, rereading things, and I didn't have the freedom to go back and correct those. So I think, you know, Getting the draft out of you is the hardest part, and this device really allows you to grind down to the bare essentials and to just write. I think I've never been more happy with a writing process than with using a device that does not allow me to edit. Now keep in mind, um, these are all printed from the device, so I'm going to have to retype these in to either a Word document or Scrivener. Scrivener is my writing tool of choice but I will be retyping these in there. So obviously when they get transferred from this to a piece of paper and then from paper to the computer, um, I will catch a lot of those um, grammatical errors. But um, I'll be sitting on this draft for probably about a month before I start to peel into it again, just to kind of clear my thoughts. But that's one thing you need to learn. Um, also the keys, um, I have like larger fingers, like fatter fingers. And I, I've, um, with the, MacBook that I use, uh, the keys are obviously not as clicky because the switches are their butterfly switches, I believe, and these are not. These have actual like physical uh, buttons that you press in. Um, I've learned that uh, when I type really fast on this, um, sometimes I can hit multiple keys. 
So I have learned just to kind of slow it down, but also to um, be more precise with my typing. Um, I type pr pretty quick, especially when you know when you have a thought going, you're just gonna rif rifle through that thought. And so I've learned to uh, be more precise with my typing. So this is most likely in increased my words per minute when it comes to typing, so that's another thing. Uh, I will say really quickly, the one negative thing about this that I had um, over the course of those 96,000 words minus the technical difficulties um, was I feel like the battery life wasn't um, nearly as extended as I thought. Uh, typically it says, I think I've been on the forums um, on Reddit and it's like 30 minute session. So you could do like a bunch of 30, like it, it says the battery life is one month but those are like 30 minute sessions. And my sessions typically um, are anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. So I feel like I get at least a week out of this device, which compared to a computer is fairly good. I, I, I don't have any problem with that, but um, the battery life wasn't as extensive. I should notate that this is a free write version one. So obviously they've improved on a lot of the things. Um, from this first device. I don't think it's quite the first version because there is a Kickstarter version, but there it is the one that was marketed to the general public. So um, a lot of the bells and whistles have been fine-tuned. I know that they have their um, their new FreeWrite Plus account or their Postbox Plus account, so that was um, added in there. But this is their bare bones essential computer. So you can tell from the back, um, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's already starting to be some yellowing on the back. So you can just tell how this device is fairly old. It's not um, a brand new one by any means and uh, it runs like one that is um, a little older, which is fine. Um, i not super upset about that, but I've learned to just plug it in um, more occasionally than I um, would have anticipated buying the device. Also, um, I wanna to touch base on um, the different file systems. So I've learned, um, obviously, I had a mishap where a draft was deleted. They were able to recover part of it, but I had to start um, 20,000 words over. And I figured out that um, the longer the drafts are, so like my typical draft um, before I switch is 30,000 words. About 30,000 words is when the device starts to slow down. Um, so when you're typing, this e-ink screen um, will slowly start to, to lag behind. So I'll be like a full sentence behind before it gets up there. So I've learned that um, A, B, and C are the different files. So when you're writing a actual novel, A is the um, beginning 30,000, B is the middle 30,000, and C is the ending 30,000. Typically that just works for me because I can just put, um, finish the 30,000, send it off, put it on my, uh, my cloud account um, with my MacBook, start B, do it that way. That's what's worked for me. That way I can minimize the amount of uh, glitches that happen with the system, but also that way I have a way of backing it up and I just have like, you know, my book part one, two, and three, and then I just match them together, which is what this is. So, but yeah, that's just something that's worked for me, um, but it is completely up to you. These devices are meant to cater to the writer's preference and not the company's preference. So um, this is something that you can do um, for your own. Lastly, kind of a side note, this device, I, you know, for people who are starting to write and for people who don't have a lot of confidence in telling other people that that's what they are passionate about, this device is a very good conversation starter. I have gotten into several conversations with people who otherwise would have, I would have never dropped this in a conversation, but it, it is such when people see it, they're like, they their immediate thought is, "What is that thing?" We can you can tell immediately that it's not something, um, it's something different from what is on the market. And I think that for someone who's trying to gain their legs and trying to make a, a, a career or to make a name for themselves, like this is something that really just kind of opens the conversation, builds your confidence, lets people know, like, "Hey, I'm serious about this." and um, this is a, a way of me showing that. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying that, you know, when people see these things, they're going to ask, well, what do you write on there? And then you get into the conversation like, oh, this is what I've written. This is where you can find my books. So whether that be in the work lunchroom or a coffee shop or, or wherever, this is a conversation starter. And it's a way of you slowly gaining confidence in yourself to know that 
this is something I'm serious about and this is something that I take um, not lightly. Obviously, um, there are some negatives about, you know, being so expensive and, you know, why wouldn't I just get a normal computer? But that's fine. Like, that's for you. Like, this device is very niche device and I have learned it's for me it's a love hate I love it so much but there's some things I really really dislike about it but that's okay like um with pens when I'm writing longhand my hand gets tired that's something I don't like I run out of ink there's ink smudges like there's always things that are in in the way so that's all that but anyways what I want to really highlight is I have done I have written a book on here and I will continue to write my books on here whether it be the first or second draft I think it's best on a device like this um, it is very similar to writing longhand um, in the fact that you can't edit so if that's something that is what you're currently doing you could always do a written longhand first a typed second on the free write and then a third on the computer I know that's like three different systems but that's what I do and it works perfectly I can catch so many more grammatical errors and my work is so much more finely tuned because I'm running through it in several different uh, channels. So by hand, on a device that is um, internet free, and then on a device that allows me to have that freedom to kind of um, play around with it. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, if you are on the fence about getting one of these devices, you can get one used for about half price. They do have a new one, the Alpha Right, uh, excuse me, the free write alpha that will be coming out that is only $300 and that will be one that um, is more marketable towards most people. I know that uh, me personally, I think in the next couple years, I probably will replace this with a newer version um, because I think I found my tool. I think I found what works for me and um, I found a system and that's really important as a writer to build a system, to follow the system and to you know kind of get comfortable with it because 20, 30 years from now, I could, still, I could still see myself using these devices and continuously um, writing. So anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about. I've got a draft done. I'm gonna be hitting this with editing soon, but it is possible. It is very likely that you will finish a draft. So if you're um, wanting to start a book, this thing will help you finish it. This thing will hold you accountable. This thing will give you the courage. This thing, this thing will make you fall in love with the process. And I um, freely, uh, oh my, I shouldn't say that's kind of a pun, but I 100% support free write and what they do. And I would highly recommend you trying one of these devices, um, whether a friend have it or, or whatnot, but just give it a go. You won't be disappointed. Um, uh, but that's it. That's all for today. Um, if you have any questions, um, about the device specifically, um, I have several videos that I've kind of gone over this with, um, this was just um, an update t showing that I have started and I have finished and I am still um, just in is in love with this device as I did or as I was before I got it. So that's everything. Um, if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you comment questions below. And then just a reminder at Anna Cummings 5841, send me an email so I can get your lock B tool roll out to you and um, hopefully fast. Anyways, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys and have a great day.